the resolution, the United States federal government should substantially increase restrictions on hydraulic fracturing. The thesis, we are going to use this speech to establish ourselves as active subjects in the world. To be an active subject requires us to be able to develop states of mind outside of our environment and known as mental states. Only through mental states can we establish our ability to act intentionally, which is key to establish ourselves as thinking subjects. This is an epistemological question that must be resolved before the entirety of the debate. Framework. Number one is that we shift the men narrative and debate rounds to us as the individual. The outcome of the opportunity cost of understanding, not, not understanding our own complacency in the system. We think that we uh, we think that we are not responsible for a subject that we talk about inside debate round number two. We establish ourselves as active subjects was a prior question and in order to act intentionally. Little a, it's a prerequisite to our thoughts because we must be active thinking subjects before we can form judgment. And in order to understand whether or not fracturing is probably okay in the status quo, little b, it's a prerequisite to knowledge because thinking requires us to be able to judge and judge requires us to be able to have knowledge. <coughs> Your question? Yeah, so if this epistemological thing has to happen before the debate happens, what does this have to do with the round? You'll see. Thanks, well, the argument is necessary to have acted differently. <laughs> argument in order to have acted differently, we must have two possible outcomes, which means that we must be able to choose between these outcomes. Number three is our apathy is critical, our apathy is critical to understanding the round. Little a active subjects and towards the resolution is critical because research education is not unique to the extent that we've already done it. The only thing that remains is our own personal stance towards the resolution will be while the representation has become routine because in the world in which Pandora uses the example of the prison guard example where the prison guard is first asked to strap to the boot thing from the person that he's going to execute. Over time, the prison guard doesn't understand changes that are happening to them as a person, then he becomes the executioner, not realizing that he became the executioner, the apathy. We think the United States federal government should substantially increase restrictions on hydraulic fracturing. We just kind of see other implications of that. No. Subtlety <laughs> 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 so, point number one is active representation. Adding we think to the resolution changes the, the resolution from passive agentless voice to an active voice is critical to be able to solve that. Number two, re mentalistic language. Our, we understand that mental states are different than our biological states. Mental states are I think, I feel, I desire, I know. Those are different than the biological states, would be the increase in serotonin that's happening in your brain. We understand that, which is key to understand our intentional agency towards the resolution. The reason that we have uh, we play what Hopper and call the language given responsibility because our FC may be good or bad, but you can only hold us responsible for our FC in a world in which we made an intentional stand. Should companies be held responsible for fracking measures? That depends on the extent of which they have a choice of their actions. Or we become aware because we endorse or criticize the claim of the resolution that understands that we have motives and instincts that are acting upon us every moment. We make our choices when the, within a sphere of reasons. We let those reasons have influence on us, which is key to being able to have any other action. Agent, the advantage can be agency. A is the deterministic threat. Number one, agents have to voice the status quo. What Gambino identifies in 1973 is acts that are the result of nameless forces. We project that the, the United States federal government is a vague ambition of some people that might exist in there, but not actually identified in, in, in any, any individuals. Makes us weaken our moral control. Uh, additionally, it's the root cause why gas companies may be building pipelines right next to cities without any understanding what ha what happens. Additionally, it also leaves air pollution where they can justify their actions as a result of moral disengagement. Number two is. Determinism says that we could have acted differently, which we, we are the our will is the result of the environment around us. And companies are profit driven. The problem is we can't hold them responsible because they were just acting to increase their company profits, which after all is the name of what companies do in the first place. Additionally, it makes us what Dennett calls more like press secretaries that are re reporting the results of our biological decisions than actual agents. The world number three, free world is a hard question because economy is necessary in order to make morally responsible decisions. Agency is recognition of what is morally required and acting in that name of what is morally required. Be is to let plan solve, be an act the voice number one, we unintentionally just towards the resolution, which would meet the most making a deliberate action towards the resolution, the fallibility of our beliefs, which says that we might hurt the economy, we don't know. There's multiple outcomes which breaks down determinism. These advantages are all the possible outcomes, the advantages are all the possible outcomes that we result as a result of our intentional action. Number two is RFC is a stance in favor of freedom, the latest capacity for reflection. RFC is gives us the capacity for our reflection because we become aware of the motives that are acting upon us and we can counter those motives. Number little b is I mean we recognize that there are many options and choices that we could have chosen as the affirmative, which allows for self-determination once through understanding the multiplicity of our actions we could have taken to become agents of ourselves. Impact is the loss of agency is the root cause of violence. Number one is that future moral responsibility happens when we suspend our self-regulation only through self uh, suspension of self-regulation become immoral agents. Social norms become the agents in which we adjust ourselves to. People become alienated socially, which makes it so that pro-economic impact causes the commodification of people. And ultimately, when we commodify people because we're making these choices as a result of suspension of moral disengagement, justifies the atrocities that have been happening in the name of fracking. Number two is that individuals become people of any form of violence. Mandura argues that moral disengagement justifies the moral acts, makes the violence inevitable because 
that violence will always escalate. Once you begin with small acts of moral disengagement, it inevitably will lead to the extent in which we could become agents that are capable of genocide because we could end up in a military draft at any moment, and that would make us agents that are making those types of choices. Number two, three, is going to be moral disengagement as part of question in order for them to have an impact on the disadvantage. Our argument that ultimately people must first suspend their morals in order to understand the way that they would actually engage in the impact if they run China is going to engage in war with Taiwan. That first, China must suspend individual moral questions before they'd be capable of that type of violence. Number four is moral disengagement with large such humanity. Gold take us that the German soldiers became willing executioners in World War II because violence was not just permissible but righteous underneath their social fiction systems that made moral disengagement routine inside the society. Fifth is that genocide is the essence of all evil. It's literally one side of killing in which individuals can begin killing children, elderly, and anyone else justified underneath this act is, the, is as a result of their ethnic identity, which is unique discrimination. Additionally, uh, victims can be humiliated before they die, literally leading to the loss of value of life. Number six, you can be death as an escape from genocide because people can be forced to kill in the act of genocide. Additionally, it's the loss of intergenerational connections, meaning people have memory loss, lose part of their identity. Additionally, death of the society, but it's not just the death of the individual, it's also the death of the entire society, and can this has a magnitude of impact that they won't be allowed by. Any questions? Yeah. So, if this prior question should happen before the debate stage, what does it have to do with this round? Or your advocacy text? Or literally anything that's going on right now? So, we orient ourselves to the resolution of the prior question. Right, so that should happen in prep time. What does that have to do with what's going on now? What well, we're doing it now. Well, so many appearances of thinking. Alright. Three off and then case. Three off or one off? Three off. It's like actually three off. Okay, okay. Case okay. in order and are any of those long? You'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> now it feels like deja vu. Screw <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah, screw <through> you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Nigel worried on an inside joke. These fuckers are weak. Zach, fuck you too. <laughs> 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 Alright, is everyone ready? Yeah. Okay. First argument, top county, wrong form, A is the interpretation, you must pass the audit policy option, uh, wait on the basis of policy and limitation, you must pass the audit policy option, wait on the basis of uh, policy and limitation standards, they uh, do not defend the out, which is, uh, and they also uh, do not have a stable advocacy text, the uh, standards of this could be one particular argument that this is a fucking topic area term that probably needs that. Uh, you had infinite number of prep time to prep, A. Uh, if you have a policy case, there's an infinite number of representations that we would never uh, be able to predict, which means they could always criticize uh, any instance on the topic argument that this is uniquely uh, negative ground in the world where they feel this way. One, uh, it our ability to compete around, but it also uh, decreases topic specific education, which we highlight as uh, uniquely key to understanding our relation within the hydraulic fracturing problem. Means you uh, go solve your app. We also increase in critical education. You can still uh, interrogate the topic under a policy implementation argument is that we will win arguments. That's why Briot uh, is uniquely key in order to solve back to your ethic. Probably means that uh, you never solve back to this in the first place. Next argument is limits. Argument is that we have to uh, limit it down to the only policy options because one, it decreases judge intervention. Argument is that you never solve back for your ethic because uh, it is impossible to completely endorse your ethic in a world where you are the only one uh, advocating it. The best way to be able to solve back through this is policy implementation because the judge uh, is probably going to be able to have an easier time uh, weighing and counting arguments rather than uh, deciding whether or, not, uh, whether or not ethics are good or arguments that ethics are unquantifiable. Probably need that. Uh, you never be able to situate yourself. Next argument is that the Occupy movement proves that if you don't have a clear political vision, means that your ethic never uh, gets off the ground. Our argument is that uh, one, uh, one person who's dressed in a suit and operates under a policy of limitation probably has more uh, salty capability for marginalized groups of people than uh, thousand hippies on the street. Our argument is going to be that you can never solve back to the entirety of your ass under this instance. The uh, worst is going to be no, a group. Huh? Next argument is that switch sides made is uniquely good. One, it increases education because we can get deeper on the topic. We also allow, it also allows for critical education because it causes uh, critical thinking to, uh, to happen as well. Next argument is that uh, it also solves back for judge intervention because... Uh, we lose solve the arguments. We also lose solve the arguments under this instance because we can never engage in their ethic from the first place as well. It's the fact that uh, they get to decide the frame of the debate probably means that uh, we never get to pee in the first place. Next argument is voters means that uh, a priori voting issue means that you evaluate procedurals for anything else around. It's a prior question because if we are not allowed to engage in their ethic probably means that they are not going to be able to solve for everybody engaging in their ethics in the first place, but also for uh, various education and competing interpretations. If we win the stands on this debate, we should win the uh, debate. Next argument. Question. Nope. Plain flaw. Uh, by the way, there's going to be two interpretations on this. 
The first argument is going to be that you must use the United States federal government. The second interpretation, you also must uh, increase regulations on hydraulic fracturing. The, uh, the I'll repeat that you must use the United States federal government. You also must uh, increase regulations on hydraulic fracturing. The uh, violation, they literally just write USFG on the plane and then draw an arrow. Uh, somehow that represents the increase. I'm not sure why. The standards uh, for this is going to be predictability. The argument is that plain text is literally the only binding thing that we have in the round. argument is the one where they have the ability to uh, justify this and, uh, and say that uh, uh, argument is uh, argue. They also just uh, argue this what was this true? Uh, do we have no uh, we have no chance to compete around because they could be they are literally the definition of a moving target under this instance? The picture of this ground argument is that uh, all of our ground stands on the possibility of them running this, which means one, they never uh, sold back for the entire thing they're affirmative, but two, it also means that uh, they never endorsed their ethic because the plain text never uh, actually uh, terminalizes in this argument that uh, no one gains in your ethic. Cross flight voters for any prior fairness education. Uh, also, uh, good plain writing is good for education. Next you. argument is that good plain writing is good for education. Argument is one increased topic uh, topic specific education. Uh, cross flight how increasing topic specific education is uniquely key to uh, solving back for our own situation within the debate round. They say that it's important that uh, we discuss how we relate to the hydraulic fracture and probably good that you can increase topic specific education as a result of the uh, cross flight voter state priority fairness education. Okay, quick shitty politics show. A is unique. This one is that farm bill is the next major issue. One or uh, the first argument is going to be that uh, currently there's uh, currently there's political battles, but battles for uh, passage is inevitable. Uh, it's over a one-year limbo, but Bayer is already set up for March 7th. That uh, 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 he's making your number one priority to pass the D. Uh, there are two different versions of the bill. One is a Democratic bill, which indicates that. Uh, uh, one is a Democratic bill, which indicates that uh, they provide funding for mandates on, uh, on sustainable soil erosion as well as uh, sustainable farming techniques. The GOP provides the same funding but doesn't give a direction, which means that uh, you know, uh, essentially it doesn't go to uh, sustainable farming. The uh, next argument is going to be the Democrats' bill has current uh, currently has more momentum under it uh, because farmers are uh, farmers are behind it as well as the fact that it has more media attention. Uh, next argument is going to be the links to first all day. Uh, this runs the agenda under the census probably means that uh, Republicans backlash and uh, the farm bill is apparently been uh, an instance in which people have uh, backlashed against uh, uh, politically, which uh, you can look to the last two years as more. The uh, next argument is the internal link. Our argument is that causes hyper nationalism between the uh, GOP party, which means that they would immediately uh, backlash against the farm bill. The impact of this is going to be uh, it destroys they our capability to destroy can destroy our capability to produce food aid, which uh, we highlight some moral obligation if they uh, value all life to say it is equal, it means and uh, say that extinction is probably a good thing to solve. It probably means that uh, it is good that we solve back for uh, the thing that it is a prerequisite to life, and that is eating. Uh, our argument is going to be in a world that is true. You should always prioritize uh, giving everybody access to food over uh, just a few people means that's a moral obligation to vote here. Then they'll save the farm bill because it makes well, and the death bill solves the farm bill because it causes sustainable ro uh, erosion, uh, soil erosion techniques as well as farming practices. Means that uh, we produce more forest grass. Uh, question. Nope. Next argument is going to be. Oh no, answer it. There you go. Yes. Uh, do you think maybe politicians like do all this political bickering because of all this meeting? You'll see. Go ahead. Next yeah. argument. First argument is going to be. Uh, first argument is going to be status quo. Solve the app. You can cross light the argument here that we already thought of our situation within the prep time. Probably means that uh, we already saw back for your predicted analysis. Next argument you say is that uh, argument is going to be that you do not need the ballot to. Assume yourself. This is why the uh, negative team wins. It's because they can assert themselves and find their own identity or whatever they're trying to do without the ballot. They read no uh, ballot is key arguments, which means uh, let them identify however they want and affirm their own life, but vote for us uh, because we're better. Next argument is going to be uh, capitalism is inevitable. Arguing that at least will uh, always have caused marginalization to happen. Means that uh, you never saw back for your income. Arguments that the most pay attention to uh, people as well as the most powerful people in the world uh, and most likely for people to follow are uh, the elitists as well as the fact that media will uh, always allow capitalism exists means that your marginalization will never uh, be able to prevent this. Next argument is that capitalism also uh, prevents moral disengagement because we establish things like uh, civil rights as well as give other people uh, as well as uh, other avenues for people can have things like food and education. Our argument is that this is key to solving back your critical education arguments and also uh, the fact that we can associate ourselves in the day probably means that uh, we should have the ability to educate ourselves. Yes. They say genocide is evil. That's a free yeah, yeah, yeah. They are in the double turn now because they say that genocide is evil uh, but they also say that ethical prioritization questions are probably a bad Thing, which ultimately means one, they don't turn themselves. You're not going to endorse their ethic. But two, it also means that you uh, it also means that you never evaluate their solvency because they are not uh, associating themselves in the framework in a world where they are contradictory status. The uh, next argument is going to be the status quo solves back for the entirety. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm growing up. The next argument is going to be that the status quo solves back for the entirety. Their case our argument is that uh, well, you can cross by the arguments that we've already thought in our prime time. Our argument is that Joey and I situate ourselves within a theodic framework. Means that uh, we also establish ourselves as debaters. Means that uh, one, you're 
that it's a specific term because you disengage our ability to identify ourselves, but two, the uh, argument is that you also create a moral hierarchy in resistance because uh, you say that people who operate in their fiat are probably not a good thing, uh, and they probably leave some more ethical obligations. Our argument is that this one uh, destroys your ethic, but it also uh, justifies moral ordering that because people to be violently excluded from uh, anyone that's to participate within your order means that uh, you never saw back to this next argument that uh, you shouldn't evaluate critiques like this because, uh, one, you can cross-play the infinite predictability arguments here, or in the world where uh, we don't have the ability to produce and be out probably means that uh, you couldn't just run this argument on the neck. There's no uh, way that you can endorse your ethic as well as the fact that uh, two of these judges have seen you uh, participate in the VR framework probably means that uh, you're not consistent with your ethic as well. Yeah. Hey, they get it backwards. You gotta have facts before you make ethical decisions. Arguments, you also have to have facts before ethical decisions. You, uh, arguments that blind action would cause, say, uh, arguments that blind action would uh, never solve things because it's not direct the attention to which we need. Uh, I mean, the marks on the group of people still get ignored. Probably not solved. option will be first, then the plan flaw with the two in terps, okay. then ticks, then case and order. Great. Okay. Right? Same order makes sense now. Okay. 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 Ok
the solution of why this tree should answer the K to K is the only thing they prior already have to weigh the impact of the K against the T. Uh, K is prior to knowledge. K is prior to knowledge, knowledge is prior to education, and we make fairness of the matter arguments, and additionally, it's fairness to fairness to form morality, which we're not allowed to engage in, or ethic, without agency. Plan set. First argument we meet, your church says we have to use the United States Federal Government increased regulations. Robert read that in his plan set. You should have read, you have to write it down. Next argument is Robert gave the exact quote in his speech. Additionally, people by tech bag could ask the question and we're just doing that. Next argument is the account interpretation. We can use symbols in our, in our, in our plan text. Additionally, you, uh, again, you can use symbols in plan text. Uh, next account interpretation is you cannot use, you cannot, uh, the nation is allowed to not use PF and add mental list of language. Uh, next argument is the account interpretation is eight point of that. This increases the speed of writing, this increases the education because a lot of people more arguments around. Additionally, that's the last language inclusion because we're going to be concluding symbols. You have to treat it binary by the way that people interact with symbols. You misunderstand additionally if this is a Form of stabilism because it creates a, a binary about the way that we interpret the and so the way we interpret language. Additionally, this law for exclusion of voter population probably, uh, and, and, and that's just the argument. Additionally, that's the point of this law for critical clarification preconditions. If you don't allow for the clarification, manipulate, manipulate language, language and break it down to do something that you can form in order for your own benefit. That is probably interlinked to your politics because uh, that's what politicians do, but it also is interlinked to the general actions. Additionally, it's, interlinked, it's also interlinked uh, to all the arguments because they interlink the difference with the laws we talked about in the first place and uh, because it's not real, you know, it by all of our uh, counter standards on the first topicality, your interpret includes you, Fia. So you have to answer it all. Next argument is cross applied to K. The, the link down with additionally, you say P, the ground ground is not unique and, uh, because you can always be the criticism and there's other forms. Additionally, uh, uh, where there's no shifting because we're not going to change the plan text. We, all we need is that we think you can have the rest of it. Uh, additionally, uh, you say P, the good plan rating. We've already written the good plan. It's on Robert's flow. Okay, okay. First argument is time frame discrepancy. It takes it takes too long to solve immediately. I mean, solve down inside it out way. Additionally, the couple reasons why it's a problem. We don't need to fail, which means we don't leak. And uh, the, uh, understanding the multiplicity of implications is a conceded argument on the case, which means acting in the face of the text is the only way to solve. It's the only way that with world can we uh, differentiate ourselves from determinism. Additionally, uh, two possible yeah, outcomes. Yeah, two possible outcomes is key to solve that. Next argument is we control the internal link to all your impacts. You say it's key to moral obligation, but you first make the argument of starvation. We make arguments about how we solve for solve starvation better. Uh, additionally, you're misinterpreting more of the or it's only in a world in which you don't so yourself is that uh, you're acting under, under an angel type of voice in a world in which you act morally uh, and like acting, all right, making this claim about a moral disobedient obligation is without engaging in moral self first is the link so well, also pretty, they link to a hierarchy of morals and they link to the hierarchy of morals which means they're the only ones linking our argument is that we allow for engaging morality which solves the propensity of genocide uh, and are apt to solve and resolve all of the questions because any you link would be a result of the determinism that we now face as a part of the structure that we're breaking down. Your question. Uh, so how do you know we didn't like morally engage ourselves with the It's about us. It's about us, dude. You can do it. Like it's about the room, it's about the way we orient ourselves in the resolution and you read top cal you read top cality saying we should have done it, and you yeah. also read hits, which means you're, you're saying we should have used an agent like top voice in our advocacy. Yeah. You, yeah, you can totally. make those arguments. We already answered those arguments. You guys are higher up on the higher level. <coughs> Okay, you said it's both solved. First argument is obviously doing around the potential to be acting in the face of resolution, the only way we can interpret uh, the multiplicity of resolution. This will give us multiple solvency by adhesion. This was talking about the, to uh, the to potential politics scenario is what gives us more solvency. You probably shouldn't have run that if you wanted to say this is not the right form. Additionally, next argument is that they require a single type of voice in uh, their topicality, which means that then we know you went down and out functions the criticism of the topicality. Uh, additionally, debate is, uh, is, is, a lot for, is, a, is an engagement about the question of socially thinking systems. Debate is one of the socially thinking systems that uh, we make an argument about determinism. Additionally, uh, Talking about, the, talking about the resolutions, the uh, uniform, we can talk about the propensity to use fiat, and, and in this case, the determinism which makes it. Uh, the solve the additionally, should have answered as to solve the argument, and there's no reason uh, not to reach that, uh, vote for the app. Additionally, uh, we're adding weak things to the resolution, probably, uh, but not something that takes away all of your ground. You shouldn't answer our agency arguments. Additionally, uh, uh, like negative, they can have the same propensity to shift the framework of the app, which, which answers the you, uh, and then you say, uh, like vote the uh, uh, yeah. vote permanently vote. There's no unique net benefit to this, and uh, it allows multi reliability and all. It's also the implication that does not defer action. You see capitalism that will first argument is that we solve better for capitalism because not any structures exist only right now. The result of our determinism, the way we engage the question of determinism, is there to make them aid of inevitable because the only world in which we uh, receive the government's age will pass the voice. We uh, they're always acting morally, or, uh, acting morally and never engage the system. Additionally, in terms we solve better for three real with lots of the the system through antilated dialectical thinking and a uh, prior question of education. We receive that education as a result of the plan and disrupting the system does not answer the question about reorienting ourselves before we even talk, uh, talk about it. You say it's getting more of the schism through policy, but uh, that's not an argument. Or argument 
about more 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 more
out and extend the search of this room and just go for it. You can see it at the top of Kelly's prior question to you even getting the affirmative, which is the reason why you do not get access to this argument. You, uh, what else? They also concede that fiat debate is our agency. Oh, yeah, they've also conceded that fiat debate is key to serve as a certain individual's agency. Uh, I'm pretty sure Nigel's down on that argument. You also have conceded that you say that the debate is unique for them. Uh, you don't answer the switch side debate argument correctly. You can read this on the negative, but just let the, uh, this, uh, the, the, the reason why that's good is because the this ad is uh, the lack of solvency argument so we can. You say that there's more of disengagement because of passive voice, which leads to genocide. This is an argument that is dependent on you being able to win access to the affirmative. Our argument is that you should not evaluate this argument because there's a prior consideration that you must evaluate on uh, questions of education and fairness. They say fairness doesn't matter. Okay, if that's true, then you should just vote against them for no reason because that's not fair. All right? They say it creates inclusive, exclusive binaries and allows for things like racism to exist. Racism is unfair. Fairness is the check against racism. That's the only way you do that. Our interpretation is key to preserving that. Also, education is a part of presupposes that people are in debate rounds and coming to tournaments. If affirmative teams can get up and cheat and make sure negative teams never get to read solvency arguments or disadvantages, no one would ever research. No one would ever cut arguments. All we would do is read each other. What? Have you read any solvency disadvantages? Like, why? Can't yeah, we read disadvantages. Right. You kicked out of them. You also didn't give us any why solvency arguments. Your education or argument says that education has already occurred, which means that there's no impact of them going to there. There's no impact for them uh, getting their critical education arguments. You've already researched that. There is, however, a risk that we do not get to learn about things like solvency arguments and uh, your movement. You can see the two, impl the two implications of why topic specific education is internal link to all your education occupy movement and the double uh, the, the mishandled case argument on uh, case that brings it back. You say that we get to read tons of arguments because we get to read picks and case. No way we can pick out of your ethic. You don't even defend the plan text. No way the pick is competitive. You'll answer the dissent the same way. Also, reading case is terrible for education because it encourages all the bad practices that you do, uh, which is good. We also lose solvency arguments. You can see that there's an independent uh, reason why we've been abused in this debate. You say that uh, education doesn't matter. No, education can uniquely be increased in some places also not unique because it's proven by the fact that they haven't done a lick of top specific education about hydraulic monitoring. The net benefit to our interpretation is enforcing them to do things like defend the United States federal government, which is a prerequisite to all their movement arguments. That's the Occupy and the uh, other argument. You say reasonability and then you should vote on it. If they're reasonably untopical, you should vote the other way. Competing interpretations is the only way to evaluate topicality because it encourages the race of the top words by the best interpretation. We will clearly win the race in the middle. Their interpretation obviously excludes our solvency arguments and disadvantage arguments. There's a risk that our interpretation solves all their critical offense and all of their we should be able to read this argument. Also, so reading it on the negative solves a hundred percent of their arguments. Our interpretation allows you to do that. You say that uh, it creates a, do you say topic specific education, education is not unique. The fact that you didn't read any argument about the topic probably proves that there's a risk that we increase that. Uh, there's, there's a risk that we increase that. And what? They say that education is already incurred. Yeah, they say education is already incurred. But you should, I already answered that argument above you. The, our argument is that we uh, lose arguments based off of solvency, uh, which, is, uh, which is bad to you. Uh, um, okay, hold it. Where am I? They say that, oh, they say that the K is a prior question to knowledge, which is a prior question to copticality, which is a prior question to everything else. Our argument is that if you believe there's any risk that they hurt education or hurt fairness, there's a prior consideration that must take place for the obligation to the community that you have. They should not be allowed, if we win, that their interpret uh, that their app should not be allowed to be run. You do not evaluate this K as a prior question argument. We are implicating the ability for them to weigh this argument. Their answer is, we are weighing this argument. They have not justified why they should get to weigh that argument yet. But we have independent disadvantages to why they should not be able to weigh that argument, which solves the way, uh, and all of their offenses to why they should be able to get these prior question arguments are solved back by what they can read this argument on the negative. You say, hold on, they have something after a talk to education. Oh, they say affirmative flexibility is key. We allow the affirmative to be way more flexible uh, because, oh, when we, well, actually, the first argument is affirmative flexibility isn't uniquely good because there's tons of disadvantages and solvency mechanisms they can have. The, our interpretation allows for the affirmative to be flexible. Your interpretation uh, over, uh, under limits the topic loss for the app to literally get up and say, uh, I like blue shoes and blue shoes is our app and we're going to spend the ethical blue shoes. There's no way for us to predict that or generate any real sorts of arguments against that, which is the reason uh, why, why we should never be able to weigh that. You say the PMC is an active, uh, an active passive voice. Our argument is that there's a prior understanding of whether or not you should get to react voice arguments. Also, you can see this case arguments in the case that you do not get access to these things. Um, anything else you think? No. Uh, well, yeah. well, Kelly is an a priori voting issue, which means it comes before any of their case arguments. Even if they win this knowledge construction argument, it's a question of fairness. All right, uh, we are going to go. Bottom case.
If you can tell me what their case fucking does, then I guess we lose. But the problem with this is they say that education has already occurred, which means one, probably means that facts come before action. Secondly, they've also conceded that the Occupy movement proves that you have to have clear political vision for your knowledge, for your sovereignty to happen, which means, one, just because you endorse your ethic doesn't mean that anyone else gets it. At the end of the day, you can vote them down and still let them endorse their own ethic, but allow us to win because that's just probably the unfair thing for them to have happen to them. Go to the bottom of the case. Even if we lose wrong forum, we can still win, and, but you can still vote that on presumption because they've conceded three devastating arguments that indicate they never solve for any of their impacts. First off, uh, they sent across the Occupy movement here. What this means is that in a world where you have no clear political direction as to how your ethic can actually be implemented, this means one, no one gets endorsed within your ethic, which means you don't really get to solve, but two, it also means there's no spillover out of the round, which means the ballot is not necessarily key for them to solve. Our argument is that the only way that you have to make any change in the world is probably to endorse fairness at this point by voting for the negative team. Second off, you can extend across the argument here that you have to have facts before you actually challenge agency. In a world where this is true, and they also say that education has already occurred, probably means they're endorsing against their own ethic because they are eliminated, because they, one, are embracing themselves within the facts before they act, but two, it also means, it also proves our idea that topic-specific education is probably uniquely key to orient yourself within the topic. If we win, that topic-specific education has to happen for you to understand and how you operate under hydraulic fracturing, which I'm still not sure if they've explained exactly how they do that, I really think you can vote for the negative team easily. But the devastating argument that they concede is the double turn. They create moral hierarchies and ethical prioritization. They say that is a bad thing. They are a straight double turn to themselves. They have no ethical solvency whatsoever. The only chance that they have to win at this point is that somehow they can critique our notion of running topicality, which now I completely understand why people get so frustrated with us at Nietzsche, because we can just critique the notion of anthropology. <laughs> okay, go to topicality. I will never run Nietzsche again. Uh, wrong forum. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few devastating arguments that you can, can say, that you can extend across that make it impossible for them to ever win that their ethic is good. One, there's an infinite number of representations which have a couple of implications. This means we never get to endorse their ethic because we can't predict what it is. Our argument is that facts are good and probably a good indication as to how we can actually have a debate and the discussion that they say is so important. Our argument is that discussion never happens in a world where you are unpredictable and don't allow us to engage in your debate. Two, you've also conceded the idea that fiat and policy options are something that Joey and I represent ourselves as. We are debaters who enjoy debating about fiat and switch side debate. In a world where you don't allow this and say that it's a bad thing, one, this says that this is a proof of the moral hierarchy arguments here that you exclude people out of your ethic, but two, it also indicates that the only thing you can solve for is your own self or identification. In a world where this is true, vote for us, let them self-identify however they want, but give us the ballot to preserve fairness. Our argument is that that fairness is uniquely key for us to have the ability to have the discussions they think are so important, as well as the fact that it's uniquely key to increasing the critical education that they think is good. Next off, you're also going to extend the argument here that the Occupy movement and the double term prove that even if they endorse their ethic and say that it's a good thing, they don't solve for it, which means there's no offensive reason for them to win this round. We have unique arguments as to why, for in order for anyone to engage in their ethic, we have to have facts and topic-specific education, as well as the fact that we have to have switch side debate, because if we don't, Joey and I get excluded out of the round, as well as the fact that we can never predict their ethics. They've also conceded that ethics are unquantifiable and that fiat is the only way to evaluate a real debate, which means at the end of the day, they don't even solve for their ethics because the judge will inevitably have to intervene with ethics. The only way to guarantee that their movement ever gets solved is by running through a clear political vision, which they never allow to happen.
The reason to me interrupt for specific B, B in this round is because they make a lot of arguments about what would happen, but they don't actually concede any of our, they concede our solvency arguments, which means voting for the affirmative will solve the entirety of the genocide claims. They make arguments on, on topicality as to why they needed access to solvency claims. Too bad they did make arguments as to why we don't access it outside of fiat means we get 100% of the criticism additionally. They concede arguments as to why their interpretation is linked to the criticism. That means we get to weigh the entirety of the criticism versus topicality makes it game over for, uh, for Texas Tech. On their specific answers, first I'm going to answer all their arguments and then extend a uh, key arguments of the case. First of all, they go for the argument of moral hierarchy, but they do not answer Richard's argument because we saw the root cause of moral self argument. They say that we're in a double bind, that we say that there are multiple outcomes, and then we create a hierarchy of moral. Our multiple outcomes was not morality. There's not multiple outcomes for morality. Our multiple outcomes was that there's different results as a result of our actions. It breaks down determinism. That is not a moral question. It's completely separate. We're not in a double bind. That's ridiculous. Additionally, we're arguing that moral engagement is key. The double turn was completely dropped. Any idea or, or any argument that there's no link from the double turn or like how they orient themselves is brand new. Okay, their original argument was that we create a moral hierarchy through moral moral ordering. Right. They didn't, get double I hold on. they didn't actually link that to the uh, multiple outcomes argument until the MG. Because our argument wasn't multiple morality, our argument was multiple outcomes. I'm clarifying that. I don't think it's new. Okay. I have the response, so. Additionally, no impact to creating a moral hierarchy. At least we get an absolute engagement. It means that we solve for genocide. Probably always entitled to this argument. Additionally, they go for the facts before ethics. Too bad you shouldn't concede our, our framework argument that says that agency is key to knowledge. It's prior because we must be active subjects in order to be thinking subjects. And we must be thinking subjects in order to have knowledge. Uh, we must first be active subjects before we can access facts. Shouldn't have conceded that argument on the framework. Means we're the internally turned to this argument as well. Uh, additionally, I want to extend across our framework arguments. We are winning arguments as to why fiat comes at the opportunity cost of understanding our own responsibility inside the political system. We are making arguments to why the political system is flawed now because it's morally disengaged only through moral disengagement. Can we have a correct political engagement? Additionally, you can see the arguments as to why the number two A argument says it's a prerequisite to thought. Additionally, you know that that's a prerequisite to forming judgments and a prerequisite to knowledge means that we are the internal turn to your facts argument, your education good argument on the topicality. Additionally, you can see that it's necessary to have acted differently. That means you can't make fairness based arguments because you didn't break down determinism. We were uh, supposedly underneath negative framework determined to make this argument it means you can't hold us responsible for our actions unless you first establish agency meets agency is a prior question. You can see the 100% of the solvency argument our argument ultimately and we only have to have one risk of one solvency argument. Active representation is what is needed, needed to break down the agent's passive voice and ultimately solve back determinism means we get 100% risk of the affirmative. I want to set across the uh, link arguments that says uh, multiple outcomes arguments that our multiple outcomes argument is clear here. It says that we understand their advocacy can have multiple disadvantages, not multiple different moralities. That's why there's a difference between this argument and other arguments. Additionally, on the impact, first of all, you can see the, a ton on this argument. First of all, you can this root cause violence means that it's a root cause of any possible uh, impact that they go for in the wrong round. Additionally, the C, uh, three argument says that moral disengagement is a prior question. Any action in the round shouldn't concede the argument that the agency, uh, agency is a prior question, meaning we get 100% risk of solvency means that we uh, throw back all of your impacts. Additionally, you conceded genocide. The problem is that we are making a, a, a not yet added argument. That's why we saw that genocide means that this does operate on the same level as topicality. Just saying that fairness comes question uh, before and not answer a framework, the agency comes before fairness. And Knowledge problem means we do get access to the genocide argument, it means we get to weigh the entirety of the genocide claim on top of the This is why the impossible mean is important because they don't actually make arguments as to why fiat is good. They say that fiat is their access to their arguments, but they did not engage our firm condition. They make arguments as to why the access to arguments is uniquely good, but we're making arguments that you must be active, uh, you may, must be active subjects first. That means we must engage our moral self as a prior question any of the arguments that they go for. Additionally, they concede that the entirety of the T and trick links to the criticism means we literally get to weigh the genocide claims against us. They do not quantify fairness claims in this instance. That anything that would somehow not weigh our argument is why people are literally forced killed to death of society and not just the individual means you can pull the trigger on that argument alone. Uh, additionally, they argue that's why political implications are good, but our arguments that we are arguing for the root causes of the flaws of political representation politics is failing now. It means that we would just repeat the same error. We are the root cause of this because we saw for engagement in politics. You shouldn't have conceded arguments that we saw the root cause of your politics and it means we are proving the same addition. You go for our arguments why it's anti-educational. Look, they make arguments as to why education can be achieved in some instances. But they don't ever negate our argument that topic research has already been achieved. The only thing that hasn't been achieved is our stance towards resolution, our personal stance towards resolution. That's why we're accessing the education claims, because we're the only ones taking a personal stance towards the resolution. Uh, additionally, uh, additional negative arguments is why <coughs> uh, negative agency. 
First of all, our argument is that negative could advocate through moral disengagement by having a personal stance, an active voice, and never once in the use of an active voice. Uh, the argument that Fiat is a part of our agency uh, was untouched, and the argument that we could have read their agent, like their type of moral agency, is brand new. Yeah, our argument is that our in our counterintuitive proves this. We say that you just have to add mentalistic language to your representation. I feel like that's a new application. But sure. Continue. Okay, I think it's new. Additionally, no impact is starting in a world in which they concede 100% of our app solves genocide means that we are ahead on this question. They don't actually impact out for what the lack of the innate agency would mean. Uh, additionally, if they vote against us, because that would be unfair, but that don't make an impact is why you would vote against us for unfairness. So the impact for voting against us to prove unfairness is not how we genocide. Additionally, they make arguments that's why uh, education is already cured. Yeah, education is already cured in terms of topic specific education. The only thing that remains is our access, personal stance towards the resolution.